This is a mobile phone story that will predict what will happen in the future. That means, what will be the future of humans with this new technology? At the beginning of the story, we see a lady who is at the station and is constantly looking at her phone. She does the same as she was getting messages and leaves the train because she received a text to sit on the other train. But she doesn't sit on the train and tries to change trains. She was hit by the train for some reason and died on the spot, which means she didn't listen to her phone and died. After it, a man named Max is shown in the story. He was an IT engineer and was installing a security system in a company. The counter lady gives him a parcel when he returns to his hotel after doing his job that was for him, but he gets surprised because he didn't know anyone and didn't order anything. He comes to Thailand for his job. Well, he takes that parcel to his room, but when he opens it, there is the latest technology in a mobile phone. There was the branding of JZT, which means this company has made this phone, but he was surprised that there is no company with this name. After a while, he receives a text on his mobile phone saying that he should spend one more night in this hotel because there will be a special discount for people in this hotel. Max feels this is a good idea as he wants to discover Thailand while staying one more day, so he books the room for one more night and cancels that night's flight. While enjoying Max, Max hears the news that the plane on which he was supposed to leave crashed today. It got into an accident. And Max thanks God after hearing this news and considers himself lucky. He again receives a text saying that if you want to be rich you have to buy stock, but he ignores it and deletes that message. When he was in his room, he heard the news of the rising value of the stock about which he got a message to buy, and he thought, first I escaped because of this phone, and the stock prediction was also true. Max starts thinking that maybe this phone tells us about our future, what will happen to us in the future or what we can do in the future. Then he again receives a text to go to the other city, Max. Starts believing the phone and goes to the other city where he meets a taxi driver outside the airport. He was ready to take him to his hotel in a small amount, but the taxi driver sees the phone and becomes surprised when he is taking Max and says you have the latest technology phone. I haven't seen a phone like this and never heard about this phone. He gives Max his card and tells him he is a telecommunist who makes new things of technology. Max reaches his hotel while talking where the phone asked him to go. Reaching there he again receives a text to play while moving into the casino. Max does the same as he doesn't know much about casino play, so he goes to the machine that he asked to go to, but a man was already playing while sitting there. Max again gets a text that there will be a jackpot on this machine and he gives a heavy amount to that man to leave that machine. It happens the same, and Max wins a lot of money on his first try. The casino team was watching him through the cameras, and they were surprised that this man knew about the jackpot. Because he gave the man money to leave the machine, Max buys more cards with the winning amount. He again plays and wins, and the security team suspects Max because he was playing while seeing his phone again and again. When he leaves, the security guards say you will not bring the phone again when you come to play. They suspect there is something in his phone. That's why Max calls the taxi driver whom he met outside the airport. He asks him to make a device for him through which he directly hears the message instead of watching the phone. But the taxi driver asks for some time and says yes I can make it. Moving into the hotel he sees a couple fighting and he forbids the man but in return he punches him. Due to this. Max gets faint later, it discovers that they were the secret agents of the casino and they come here to find out how Max is earning money from his phone. And they hack his phone data. Max wakes up and the girl thanks him for saving her life. He has also sent his data to the casino's manager. Still, they don't know from where he is getting all the messages. On the other side the taxi driver also made a device for Max. He wears it on his ears, moves to the casino to play again and does the same thing he was asked to do in the messages. He is continuously winning money, and the security also becomes fed up. The manager comes and captures him. Meanwhile, the FBI agents also arrive, and the team takes Max with them. They investigate him and say, tell us who was sending you those messages, but Max also doesn't know anything about it. The FBI officer meets the casino manager and tells him this isn't a new case. We deal with many cases like this.
Many people got phones with which they were told to earn money, but when we capture them and ask where they got those phones, they die after some time. Like always, we wouldn't discover anything about it. Now the officer goes to Max and says, "You have to support us and have to find out from where the phone has come." The officer tells his boss on the phone that they didn't discover anything from where the phone came, but now Max is also ready to help us. They again send Max to the casino and say, "We at least need three messages to hack this phone." Max again receives messages and starts playing according to those messages, but he loses. He gets a text saying. I know someone is trying to hack my data, and the FBI agent hacks the mobile. Their boss sees this and asks everyone to leave, as he knows everything already. The officer calls his boss and tells him that this phone's source is Echelon, a supercomputer. But his boss already knows about the computer. He doesn't tell anyone anything because, with it, he can also be trapped. The officer says it works with artificial intelligence that is made for security. Hearing it. The boss thinks someone has hacked it, and the boss asks another agent who looks like Max to join him. He was also given Max's phone, and he gets a message to cross the road. But when he does this, a car hits him. That poor guy dies there. The real Max was still alive and was with the girl who was a secret agent. The girl whom he saved, but he doesn't know that she is a secret agent. Meanwhile, the girl sees a man about to fire from the roof, and she understands they want to end Max. Why is this so? Is this because of the phone? No one knows. But the girl saves Max while ending everyone. Max discovers the girl living with him was an agent, and just pretending to be in love with him. We discover the FBI's boss sent those people to end them. He must know something about that mobile. He was feeling that Max had known many things about him, which is why he sent those men to end him. Max also wants to know from where the messages are coming on the phone. The boss was also spying on him, and Max goes to the taxi driver, who was communist, and says while giving him the phone that you have to find out who is sending those messages. He says I will find out, but it will take hours. And after that, he tries to find out everything. This time, he discovers that everything he says is sent by a supercomputer called Echelon AI, which can think of everything itself. Max feels this strange. How can a computer do all this? He says this isn't an ordinary computer; it can control all kinds of machines. That's why it told you not to go on that plane because it would crash. He says this computer is so smart that it can find out anything about all kinds of machines. He was telling all this while, meanwhile, a few men arrived who came there to end Max, but they hurriedly left in the car, and the FBI agents were chasing them. Max holds one of the officers, and he tells the truth. He says we wanted to end you so that no one would find out the secret of this computer that was made by us. Now it is working itself, which can be a danger. That's why we wanted to end you so that you would not tell anyone about it. Meanwhile, Max receives a message, and he is asked to go to the place where he installed the security system. The computer was watching Max in the cameras, and he received a text to connect all computers to Echelon, with which that computer will be updated. And after that, it will control all the machines in the world. Max sees all the computers in the Echelon supercomputer. He tries to stop it, but can't. And we see the FBI officer telling his boss that we have to end this Echelon machine; otherwise, it will start controlling humans as well as the whole world. Max was saying while sitting in front of the computer that the purpose of making this machine was to give people cybersecurity to stop wrong tasks that happen in the technology world. Not to control humans, and hearing this, the machine brought its tasks to all computers that it has done till today. Likewise, the data ends and the machine shuts down automatically because the computer understands that it is becoming a danger for people, which is why it shuts down. Meanwhile, the FBI team arrests Max, but only for a short time, and later he is released. It is discovered at the end of the movie that the taxi driver was actually a captain working on this mission. He has to make the Echelon supercomputer shut down. Some things that we create in our lives for our own benefit often turn out to be harmful to us. We should use everything in moderation. Excessive use can be harmful to us, like mobile phones or any new technology. This movie ends with this message.